Welcome to Pecan Corner. I'm Tina and uh, today I'm going to talk about cottage industries. Uh, these are some of the, the little uh, little cottage industries that I use to cobble together uh, a living. Um, when Paul got sick um, in October of 2015, um, he required full-time care here at home for all of this past year and although he's doing much better now, um, it's still not to a point where I can go back to work. But even during the times when I did hold a job, we, we have always had um, uh, other businesses. We sold antiques for a long time, and in fact, that's how full time Paul made his living as a full-time antiques uh, uh, seller uh, for, for many years before he had a stroke, a disabling stroke, a few years ago. And so we've always had these, these things that we do. Um, and to, Last year, I planted a garden, and I went to the farmer's market, and I sold my uh, my fresh vegetables. Uh, this is one of my one of my signs um, at, at the at the market, and uh, did real well. And then this year, I, I hope to do better uh, because I've learned a lot more about what to grow that people want to want to buy. I also sell. Um, and I've mentioned this before, I sell certain cottage foods that uh, the state of Texas will allow us to sell um, that we make in our homes. Um, I have taken a food safety course that's required by the state. Um, it's a small, it's a simple thing that we can do online. It costs about $15 and um, the, once you take it, it lasts, um, I think it's two years and you have to have to renew it. But it's just basic, safe food handling practices. And then um, I can sell from my home or I can sell at uh, events that are either a farmer's market, a, an, a, a farm stand at my home, or um, at events that are sponsored by a nonprofit or a government entity. So. Um, I, I make pickles um, out of cucumbers, I make, we can sell mustards, and I make different kinds of jams and jellies. Um, we can I also bake breads um, and cinnamon rolls. I have, uh, I have some breads that I make that um, sell regularly all year round, so I, I bake throughout the year. Um, and, and there are different kinds of products that, we're, that we sell. So I enjoy doing that a lot and um, that's, that's one of the things that I do. Uh, the other thing that I do is I have, uh, or another thing I do is I have two Etsy stores. And one of those, there's, I have a bunch of business cards. There's my business card for my cottage foods. Um, I have two Etsy stores. I have one that's called Pecan Corner and then I have one that's called Urban Mining Co. Um, on Urban Mining Co, I sell a whole variety of vintage vintage things, and I'll put the links links down there for you guys. I, you know, just just everything that that, uh, and mostly I'm paring down my my own collections. Um, I don't buy a lot anymore because I have too much stuff for my house, but. Uh, but lots of uh, lots of wonderful vintage things there. We've had I've had the Etsy store for uh, well off and on. You know, it's one of those things that back when I was working full time, I'd run for a while and then close it for a while. Uh, but but now it's been active for about the last couple of years, and it's a really good store. We've also sold an eBay in, on eBay in the past, although I'm I'm not selling there now. Um, um, it just depends on what you're selling. You pick your your best market for it. Um, the, each more, each market is kind of different, and it and it a lot depends on you know what kinds of things you're selling and, and the market that you're reaching out to. Uh, most of what I'm selling now, I know exactly what I have. I understand its values. Um, eBay, if you're if you're just getting started or or you're not quite sure values or the market has changed uh, from what it once was, uh, can be a can be a real good outlet there. The other Etsy store is for my handmade fine silver jewelry. I design and make um, jewelry out of um, using fine silver. Using uh, 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 it's a it's a powdered sil silver metallurgy that I use. Um, I, I create the original design. I sculpt that myself uh, from scratch, and then I use that that 
original to create a mold that I then cast my silver in. Then I hand finish each piece and it requires quite a bit of hand work on it uh, to finish it out. And then I fire it, fire it in my kill. Um, and I have a uh, I've sold a couple of my men's crosses. I need to make a couple more. I, I make these to order. Um, they're they're shown on my in my store. And uh, but I do crosses with Texas wildflowers on them, or that are inspired by nature. Um, I have three new crosses for men, um, and uh, I have a, a little pump jack for the oil industry. Um, Earrings, my earrings and this cross are my best sellers. Um, and, and I know you're not going to see them very well on here, but uh, but they're all made out of, of almost pure silver. There's no copper in this. Um, so it's 0 .999 fine silver. So it's, it's better than sterling um, in that it has a much higher silver content. Um, and then I, I mark each piece. Each piece is marked with my, my Tina H. And... Uh, uh, it's it's marked FS.999, which is the, the legal mark uh, for, for that. Um, and uh, so that's my, that's, an, that's another thing that I do, and I have a, <laughs> a business card for that one, too. Uh, the reason I have all these business cards is that I, I do letterpress printing. Uh, my letterpress printing is really a hobby. Um, I, I don't, uh, although I have printed... Um, um, I just printed the, the wedding invitations for our son's wedding uh, this, past, this past summer, um, and I can do things like that. I generally do not do uh, printing to order. I, I make things, and then sometimes I'll sell, you know, sell those things. But, but I also uh, enjoy demonstrating. I've really gotten into historical demonstration through the, letter, through the letterpress, and um, that's, you know, just, just fun to do, um, to, a way to share knowledge with other people. And uh, uh, the, uh, the Stars of Texas, I did letterpress printing there last year. This year, uh, they've asked me to return. This will be my third year. Um, this is a, a big two-week-long art show, and they do artistic demonstrations um, during the day, each day, different ones. And so um, last year I did letterpress. This year I'm going to be demonstrating linoleum block cutting. Um, so that's pretty exciting. They bring um, school children, groups, classrooms come around and um, we, we demonstrate to them, you know, what the art is and, and how we do it and what's need, necessary. Um, so the, these are, and then I do... Um, um, at, at various historical events, you know, Pioneer Days or uh, uh, museum events, um, I'll do letterpress printing the way it was done, you know, a hundred years ago. Um, the interesting thing is, is it's not, uh, uh, it's not unusual for a woman to have been a printer back then. Women have been, always been printers, and so, um, although we don't hear about them much, um, it, it was certainly an op occupation that many women had. So that's a lot of fun, and, and we really kind of, the, the, all the reenactment events, uh, we are starting to just slowly kind of do some of those. Um, we, we did costumes. I now have a hoop skirt, and uh, uh, I made, made Paula a gambler's shirt, and, and uh, we had a lot of fun this, this, last, uh, this last fall. We went to, over to uh, Stephenville and did an event over there, and, and it, was, it was really great. Um, I... Uh, I can do book binding. I haven't done much in a while, but I can do that. But mostly, I, you know, I'll print, I'll print things that are, this is done with wood type. Um, there's some more, more wood type, a poster I did for our, uh, our garden event last year. Um, uh, decorative posters that, that can be framed. Um, I did, I, I printed a, a series of, um, of epitaphs uh, on, on black paper. Uh, for a Halloween art show uh, last year and framed them in these these dead white frames that look like bones um, and so um, then the uh, another thing that I do is I use my press to print little little uh, seed packets and it started out um, I, I just had the empty seed packets and I thought people might enjoy uh, using them to save seed in, but people wanted them with seeds, so I collect, started collecting uh, 
wildflower seeds. Uh, ones that are abundant where I can uh, collect them responsibly um, from areas that are appropriate to be collected from and uh, still leave enough that it won't damage any, any native natural populations. Um, so I'm able to offer things like I'm able to offer a local variety of milkweed, the local wild native milkweed, which is um, extremely important for our monarch butterflies. And so I have a, I have a little, uh, little seed box that, uh, that I sell these for $2 a pack and uh, I hand lettered my little, my little sign there and so people can, uh, can, can buy these and plant their own, their own wildflower gardens. And so those are um, a few of the things, you know, when we, as we want to become more, more self-reliant and, um, and, and less, um, less dependent on a single, single source of income um, or to replace income or if, if we're unemployed for some reason or another and we, we need to do things to, to make a living, um, we, we can rarely depend on a single stream of income in, in today's world or today's economy. And so for me, um, this kind of thing works because I can use my different talents and my different moods and uh, different times of year. Um, now that I know I'm going to be home all the time, um, I'm, I'm focused on some things that'll be, uh, uh, be a little... Uh, more involved that I, that I can uh, uh, can spend a little more more time on to uh, to make a little bit bigger enterprise out of um, because I need to um, we don't have pensions and so um, we, we need to you know we need to take care of ourselves and so um, I just thought these might give you um, some ideas for things that you can do in in uh, your neck of the woods um, they're all things that you can start. Uh, well, the silver might not not be so much, but uh, but most of these other things certainly the cottage food, the gardening. Um, um, there's a lot of different things you can use your own talents. The Etsy store. It doesn't cost you anything to open an Etsy store. Um, you know, so there's lots of different ways. Um, to generate some income streams. So I, I will, uh, over, as time goes on, I'll show different things about, about different parts of this and uh, demonstrate some letterpress printing or some of the way that I work on my jewelry. Uh, but I kind of wanted to just get started. Um, and uh, I hope that, uh, you know, if you have uh, things that you want to share about things that you use and wa ways that you use your talents, uh, I hope you'll put them on your, uh, do videos about them and, uh, and show them off because uh, it's exciting. It's fun to see. And uh, we like to uh, know who, who's around us that, that, that does these neat things that we can, that we can appreciate and, uh, and even buy from. All right. Well, thanks so much. If you like this, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. I'm uh, so excited about my first 100 subscribers, but I, uh, I hope that that's not the end of it. I, we have another goal set now, and uh, uh, so uh, really appreciate you guys out there. Thanks so much for taking your time and watching. Bye.